Hi folks, it's the author Angela C. Nurse here. Thank you for joining me on my YouTube channel again. Every view is really appreciated. Uh, today's program is sponsored by these earrings. Uh, these are bloody knives. This one's quite big, one on the side a little bit smaller. One of my favourite pairs of earrings to wear. Um, I do get some strange looks wearing them, mind you, but I really love them. I think they're quite apt for a crime writer. And I got these as part of Tesco's Halloween stuff a few years ago. Um, so glad I picked up a pair when I saw them because I've never seen anything like it since. Yeah, so one of my favourite pairs of earrings. Today I thought it would be nice to talk about um, the publication of Jack in the Box, which pre-order is available for the Kindle version now. Uh, and thank you for everyone who's pre-ordered. pre is going really well. And then obviously full publication for the Kindle version next week, next Wednesday. Uh, the paperback version will hopefully be following uh, about a, three weeks or a month after that. But I will keep you, keep you updated with exact dates. So what now for Rowan? Well, as most of you know, book two is written and I'm working through final edits. Uh, I still have a fair bit to do with that, but it is on the home straight. So I'm looking forward to sending my final revision back to my editor for checks and to make sure that everything, make sure he's happy with all of that. Um, <clears throat> in addition, I recently finished book three. Now, I don't tend to write the end at the end of my first drafts. Uh, and I don't know if that's because deep down I know that it is not the end, <laughs> that there is a, a shed load of work to do once you finish a first draft or if it's just not not something I do. But I did get to the end of the first draft. Um, <clears throat> so what happens with that now is I will put it in a metaphorical drawer, leave it in its file on my computer, um, and it'll stay there probably for three to four weeks when I will work on other things. And then I will take that back out and I will work on a full rewrite, which I do well before it goes to the editor. So I rewrite and I will polish and I will get it to the best stage I think I can get it at just by myself. Uh, and then I will send that to my editor. He will go through that and then he'll send me back his his notes. Um, and they can be anything from, I don't like, the punctuation here is wrong, this should be a, a new sentence, <clears throat> this should be two paragraphs, um, just simple things like that, like you, you've spelled this character's name wrong, um, which sounds crazy, but it is actually much easier to do than you think, uh, especially if you have a name which has more than one common versions like Stephen with a PH or a V or uh, I have a, a, a character whose surname you could have one way or you could add an S to it. I'd start out with it without the S and towards the end of the book I'd added an S in um, in book one, Jack in a Box. So he picks up things like that but also he picks up bigger things so areas where he thinks maybe the story doesn't work so well or I have had a big continuity issue or anything where he feels that there could be some work to do. So I will get his list of notes back. And once I've had a cry, I will <laughs> get to work on uh, making the story even better. That will then get sent back to him for another look. And we can do that maybe two, three times before we're both really satisfied with the outcome. And that's when it will move on to the next stage. So that's where we are with books one, two and three. Really exciting stuff. Uh, and lately I've been thinking about book four uh, and actually for the last six months or so I've been on and off trying to think of what book four will, will be like and what will happen because it's definitely more than three books for Rowan. Um, the trouble I've had I think is that when I got the idea for book one for Rowan the ideas for book two and three followed super quickly afterwards. Book two and three were stories that I, I had in the back in my storybook um, where I keep general ideas and as soon as I got I I realised what Rowan's first story was going to be. I completely knew what her second and third books were going to be about. So for book four, it's been a bit of an enigma because that hasn't been on my pad as to, to where we're going to go with that. Um, so yeah, I've been thinking about it quite a lot lately and wondering what's going to happen with, with book four. Um, I've had two or three ideas. None of them really fabulous ideas. I played around with a few paragraphs but I'm not really loving anything um, and so that's been a bit of a challenge but I will say the great news is that I have got the inklings of an idea, the very small seedling of an idea for book four um, which is coming to me in, in slow patches. 
So I'm hoping that I can get my version of an outline. I don't outline greatly, but I'll normally have um, like a timeline like a or a mind map, which has some of the key points, or even just some bullet points, which tells me roughly what the the key big, big moments are, um, which I, I like to do. And then I build up the story around that. Um, so that's quite exciting. I'm really looking forward to exploring that idea a bit more um, and seeing where it takes us. One of my big questions during that will be, uh, what will I do about the pandemic? Will I include it? Will it be relevant or not? Uh, I really don't know. And if you have any strong feelings, then please comment in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Uh, that is me for today. Next week, you will ex can expect some uh, information on my actual publication, the, the full downloadable version. Your Kindle will come up on the 26th and I hope to have a series of videos available on my YouTube channel and doing some stuff over on Facebook and Instagram Live and Twitter as well. So if you want to catch me on any of those, I'm going to be all over the social media next Wednesday uh, and have a lovely day. And thanks very again for joining me. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.